The Raven by Edgar Allan Poe. Once upon a midnight dreary, while I pondered, weak and weary, over many a quaint and curious volume of forgotten lore, while I nodded, nearly napping, suddenly there came a tapping, as of someone gently rapping, rapping at my chamber door. "'Tis some visitor," I muttered, tapping at my chamber door. Only this, and nothing more. Uh, distinctly I remember it was in the bleak December, and each separate dying ember wrought its ghost upon the floor. Eagerly I wished the morrow, vainly I had sought to borrow, from my book surcease of sorrow, sorrow for the lost Lenore, for the rare and radiant maiden who the angels name Lenore, nameless here for evermore and the silken sad uncertain rustling of each purple curtain thrilled me, filled me with fantastic terrors never felt before, so that now to still the beating of my heart I stood repeating, "'Tis some visitor entreating entrance at my chamber door, some late visitor entreating entrance at my chamber door, this it is, and nothing more." Presently my soul grew stronger hesitating then no longer sir said i or madam truly your forgiveness i implore but the fact is i was napping and so gently you came rapping and so faintly you came tapping tapping at my chamber door that i scarce was sure i heard you here i opened wide the door darkness there and nothing more Deep into that darkness peering, long I stood there wondering, fearing, doubting, dreaming dreams no mortal ever dared to dream before. But the silence was unbroken, and the stillness gave no token, and the only word there spoken was the whispered word, Lenore? This I whispered, and an echo murdered back the word, Lenore! Merely this and nothing more. Back into the chamber turning, all my soul within me burning, soon again I heard a tapping, somewhat louder than before. Surely, said I, surely that is something at my window, Latisse. Let me see, then, what thereat is, and this mystery explore. Let my heart be still a moment, and this mystery explore. Tis the wind, and nothing more. Open here, I flung the shutter, when, with many a flit, flirt and flutter, in there stepped a stately raven of the saintly day, days of yore. Not the least obstinance made he, not a minute stopped or stayed he, but with the mien of dark or lady perched above my chamber door, perched upon a bust of palace just above my chamber door, perched and sat and nothing more. Then, this ebony bird beguiling my sad fancy into smiling, by the grave and stern decorum of the countenance it wore. Through thy crest be shorn and shaven, thou, I said, are sure no craven, ghastly grim and ancient raven wandering from the nightly shore. Tell me what thy lordly name is on the night's platonian shore, quoth the raven, nevermore. Much I marveled this ungodly fowl to hear discourse so plainly, though its answer little meaning, little reverency bore. For we cannot help agreeing that no living human being ever yet was bleased with seeing bird above his chamber door, bird or beast upon the sculptured bust above his chamber door, with such a name as nevermore. But the raven, sitting lonely on the placid bust, spoke only that one word, as if his soul in that one word he did out her. Nothing further than he uttered, not a feather than he fluttered, till I scarcely more than muttered, other friends have flown before. On the mar he will leave me, as my hopes have flown before. 
Then the bird said, Nevermore. Startled at the stillness broken by reply, so aptly spoken, Doubtless, said I, what it utters is its only stock and store, caught from some unhappy master whom a merciful disaster followed fast and followed faster till his songs one Borden bore, till the dirgs of his hope that melancholy Borden burr of never, nevermore. But the raven still beguiling my sad fancy into smiling, straight I wheeled a cushioned seat in front of bird and bust and door. Then upon the velvet sinking, I betook myself to linking, fancy unto fancy, thinking what this ominous bird of yore, what this grim, ungainly, ghastly, gaunt, and ominous bird of yore meant in croaking nevermore. This I sat engaged in guessing, but no syllable expressing to the fowl whose fur fiery eyes now burned into my bosom's core. This and more I sat divining, with my head at ease reclining, on the cushion's velvet lining that the lamplight gloated o'er. But whose velvet violet lining with the lamplight gloating o'er, she shall press, oh, nevermore. Then, methought, the air grew denser, perfumed from an unseen censer, swung by seraphim whose footfalls twinkled on the tuft floor. Wrench, I cried, thou God hath lent me thee, for these angels he hath sent thee, repice, respite, and nepathy from thy memories of Lenore. Craft, O oh, quiff, this kind nepathy, and forget this lost Lenore, quoth the raven, nevermore. Prophet, said I, thing of evil, prophet still, if ba bird or devil, whatever temper sent, or whatever tempest tossed thee here ashore, desolate, yet all undainted, on this desert land enchanted, on this home by horror haunted, tell me truly, I implore, is there, is there, balm and gled, tell me, tell me, I implore, quoth the raven, nevermore. Prophet, said I, thing of evil, prophet still, if bird or devil, by the heaven that bends above us, by the God we both adore, tell this soul with sore laden, if within the distant Aden it shall clasp a sainted maiden, whom the angels name Lenore, clasp a rare and radiant maiden, who's the angels name Lenore, quoth the raven, nevermore. Be that word or sign imparting, bird or fiend, I shrieked, upstarting, get thee back into the tempest and the night's plutorian shore. Leave no black plume as a token of that lie thou soul hath spoken. Leave my loneliness unbroken, quit the bust above my door. Take thee beak from out my heart and take thy form from off my door. Quoth the raven, nevermore. And the raven never flitting, still is sitting, still is sitting on the plaid bust of Pallas just above my chamber door. And his eyes have seen all the seeming of a demon's that is dreaming, and the lamplight over him streaming through his shadow on the floor. And my soul from out that shadow that lies floating on the floor shall be lifted nevermore. Thank you for watching this video. Please be sure to subscribe to our channel and check out more of our content. Feel free to give your feedback and suggestions on who we should do next in the comments. This is Infinitely Productions. We love you!